verses, and once we've talked about them, we'll read some more verses. 7, 8, and 9. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man prior to the law. To one is given by the Spirit, the word of wisdom. To another, the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the same Spirit. That's 1 Corinthians 12, uh, verse 7. Now, the word manifestation... Uh, what what is the your understanding? What is a good understanding, a good good working definition of what does manifestation mean? Appearing. Well, I'm, what do you say, Bill? Appear. Appear. Okay. What's the appearing? Uh, working out. Working out. Okay. The manifestation is working out. Manifestation. The manifestation. Something physical. Physical. Okay. So something that you can, can be seen of a sort to a certain degree. Did, uh, like something revealed. It's a okay. Like Reveal. Okay, that's good. So now, when when we see this, we see this word spirit. How how should we identify spirit? This word spirit. Holy spirit. Tammy. The Holy, the Holy Spirit. Yes, and Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Spirit, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given. Who is it given to? Every man. And why? The process. Okay. So now when it says it's given to every now what is the context of verse seven? First Corinthians Anna. To the church. Oh, to the church. Believers? Anna? Well, it's already been answered. Okay, good. The church believer. So, Anthony, you had you had a comment, didn't you? I was gonna say, I don't know if this is probably not right because I already said it, but um God gives us a conscience, like every man a conscience. <laughs> every man does have a conscience. The Holy Spirit until we're saved. Exactly. Be prior mm -hmm. to that, like in other words, a three-year-old little girl would know if something's wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. So she has like that conscience mm -hmm. that we're born with. That's right. what I thought. I think you know. I think everyone does have a conscience, but I think in the context of, of the Church of Corinth, I mean, I, have to, I think because we know that. Our conscience can be served with a hot iron, can they not? The Bible scripture says that people, people that are that are wicked people, even sometimes people that are claimed to be righteous people, we can have our, they they can have their consciences seared by hot iron. Um, but the, the idea here of the spirit, um, as we said, the Holy Spirit. Now it's it's we the translators chose to capitalize it because they believe it's referring to the Holy Spirit in in the, in the Greek language. Well, there, there are capital letters in the Greek language, but as far as um, it's, it's discretionary, I suppose, whether or not you capitalize so certain words. Uh, proper nouns, same rules, you know, proper names should be capitalized. Now, uh, Mrs. Barber and then Anna. The spirit is not given to an unbeliever. No, the spirit is not given to an unbeliever. So that's why so we... It is given. Is given, Right. It, it is given. So, uh, just one second, Jonathan. Just, uh, just one second. I'll be right with you. It, it is given. In other words, it's something that is just. It's for the church. The context it says it's given, but in the context of those that are believers, those that are in the church, that's what you're trying to emphasize, right, Barbara? Right. Yeah. Right. Anna, what was your thought about this? Oh well, like the manifestation of the spirit. So, like when. People show fruit, the fruit of the spirit, and it's like it's demonstrating that they are saved. Yes, demonstrating they were saved. I mean, if we if we look at the thank you. Well, and like so, in a similar sense, with like when the gifts. Well, anyway, I'm not explaining. It. Oh, you're doing a fine job. Um, just let me let me get this to get this uh, call here, John. Nice nice you call today. How you doing? Thanks for holding. All right, yes. Um, I wanted to uh, tell you that when you started uh, that this was the verse, uh, this is the verse I used this morning for um, this, uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 7. Is that right? The Spirit profiteth with all. And uh, that this is the verse I used this morning in speaking with the church in uh, Suriname for about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Very interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. to, to be in the spirit, and also I went to 
Chinese church here around the corner. Well, I call it Chinese it's a church in Philadelphia. They kind of have a Chinese format. Anyway, um, the fellow who gave the closing, everybody can have the opportunity to speak, but there's like a moderator that closes and sums it up. And he focused on uh, First Corinthians chapter 12 again, the spirit part here. Okay. So it's very interesting that, that is God, interesting. Uh, and, confirming that and you uh, you connect you connect with a Suriname church by way of uh, Skype. Is that correct, Jonathan? Pardon? You connect with Suriname with yes. Skype. Okay, good. Well, yeah, thanks, thanks, Skype. John. That's interesting. Yeah. So you talked about it. The Chinese, what we're calling, what, for lack of a better term, the Chinese church uh, talked about it as well. That's one. We're talking about it too. Yes. That's good. All right, yeah. thanks, Jonathan. Right. Appreciate it. God's, God's confirming how yeah. important this is. It is. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Thanks for talking, Colin. John, I appreciate it. Amen. Yep. Bye. Bye. So, uh, oh, let's wait for Jonathan. Okay, oh, that's good. Wait for Jonathan. So, uh, yeah, hi, Jonathan. Philadelphia. Yeah, so, Philadelphia. Oh, okay, he's rolled. He's rolled a little close. Okay, now, so uh, did someone else have a comment about this? Tammy, you did. Um, I was just going to mention. Um, you know, we're kind of building on what Anna was saying as far as the manifestation, and, and Antoinette mentioned the word "reveal," revealing of the Holy Spirit. I mean. When Pentecost came, there were certain sign gifts that were given, and this was, um, you know, these are the, the sign gifts that were given at that, right. at that time. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, kind of building on the background that we had last week, too. And, um, Good. And so part of the background from last week would give us, if we started, if we, if we, you know, if you scan it briefly, it's it's talking about these these people are, are new believers. They're, they're Christians, they're state people. And so... When we, were, when, we, when we started verse 7, as we, as we know, we, we've already talked about this, but this, it's talking about it's given to believers, born again and saved Christians, as far as the Spirit is given to every man, and for what purpose? To profit with all. Mr. Warren, go ahead. Um, to, and I, I believe that every person has a specific gift that the Lord gives to them, that, they, that the Holy Spirit can work through you in His Word. And, but to bring out certain gifts, and not all of us have the same gift. No. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're supposed to uh, be like uh, fingers together, mm -hmm. and, together, and we can work as a church, uh, mm -hmm. and, and each person, but they have a specific gift. Right, uh, that's right. One person has mm -hmm. the gift for working with children, or, or uh, comfort, mm -hmm. or, or preaching, but different gifts. That's right. And, 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 but every one of us have a gift. Amen. And, and the gifts, they, fun, they function differently, but they function together. Like my foot has a different function than my hand. Right. My eye has a different function than my ear. You now my nose has a different function. You know, that, then, you know, whatever. My, my, uh, <laughs> my, um, we'll say my ear or whatever, my, my, my heart. It's got a different function. Um, and so, the 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 idea of, of it's the, these gifts are given, and each person has a special spiritual gift. Now, in the church, in the first century church, there were certain sign gifts that were given. Sign gifts were were so called the temporary gifts were given, and so we're going to, going to be getting to look at some of these temporary gifts early on in chapter twelve here. But as far as the, these gifts are given so every man to profit with all. Yes. Now, in verse 8, any more thoughts about verse 7? Caroline. I have a thought that somebody had said to me something about that the gifts that we are given, then after a while, if you don't use them or something, you can lose them. Is that true there? I would think the gifts are permanent. We, we, may, we, may, we may suppress them, uh -huh. and we may grieve the Spirit, we may not use the gifts, but we, we, we need to be using the gifts. No. I don't believe we're going to lose the gifts. Oh, okay. Tammy. I'm wondering if that, I've heard that too, and I think partly maybe they're confusing talents with gifts, okay. spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. And because if you, don't, if you don't use a certain you know, talent that you have, then you may lose it, at least use the usefulness of it. I mean, if maybe from that vantage point, you're not able to benefit anyone if you don't use your spiritual gift. But I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I think that's what you're maybe people are confusing it with, perhaps. And then they're, they're kind of cross-applying it or misapplying it in a certain sense. So in verse 8, the Bible says, 
For to one is given, in other words, we have everybody is given, every believer has some type of spiritual gift. So that remains the prophet with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. Now, and so not everyone has this gift, the word of wisdom. Now, the word of wisdom is a, is a, is a was one, was one of the sign gifts, a special sign gift prior to the close of the canon, first century church. You know, the, 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 the canon, when, when I say canon, I'm referring to the Bible, the scripture was closed, was, was completed, you know, before 180, 90 to 180, after, after, the, after the revelation of Jesus Christ was completed, uh, the, the God used John to, to complete that, to write that. Once that was completed, then he signed gifts or suspended. We'll get that if we get once we get through chapter twelve, we'll we'll see we'll see that uh, into chapter thirteen. But we're not in chapter thirteen yet, so we have to understand there's well, there's more explanation coming, and so we have the word of wisdom. Now, what what is the explanation would you say about word of wisdom as far as your understanding of it? So, so wisdom, you know, so far, what is your Understanding of this this particular spiritual gift that's a sign a temporary a temporary sign gift. Go ahead. A, a depth of understanding, maybe. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Depth of understanding. Mm-hmm. We have we. Good afternoon, uh, Jacob. How you doing? One right, second. I gotta. Uh, one more. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Jacob. How you doing? Good afternoon. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Thank you. For your sermon this morning, Pastor Dan, it was so good. I, I just called to say that and to say hi to everybody and, and uh, everybody listening on the internet. And y'all have a good day. God bless. Well, thanks, Jacob. Appreciate it. Let's uh, let's wave to Jacob from Victoria. Hi, Jacob. How are you doing? Texas, it's uh, right? from Texas. It's uh, it's warm there. It's it's, uh, it's warm. <laughs> it's warmer there in Texas for sure. Okay. And so, and, and, oh, sure. <laughs> and is there a question by way of email? No. No. Okay. Uh, if anyone does have an email question, please send us an email question to um, to questions at email question or comment questions at bftbc that org. That's questions at bftbc that org. Now we're talking about this word of wisdom here, so it's a, it's a special the Rick was saying a special depth of understanding. Any more idea? Any more consi- You know. Now, what, what do we know about just the principle of wisdom? I mean, we know we know there are some people in Scripture that were were, were, were classified as having wisdom. Solomon. Solomon was is the, is the key example. Tammy, who you who you said? Oh, I wasn't giving a person. Okay. I was just giving an idea. Okay, what's your idea? Well, so it's like the application of of knowledge. Application of, of knowledge. Biblical knowledge. Application of biblical knowledge. Mm-hmm. I mean, so in a certain sense. We have that principle today. It's not the it's not the gift, but it's the principle application of biblical knowledge. Because a lot of us, you know, we have a lot of biblical knowledge, but we have to know how to apply it properly. Antoinette, what was your thought? I was thinking about how it says that <clears throat> there is wisdom in the counsel of many, and I think in the early church it was that if someone was counseling with another person and they would have a word of wisdom, it would be an answer to that which would, maybe they were praying about, and because that mm-hmm. person had that gift of wisdom, they could share that with the person they were counseling with. Right. Mm-hmm. Albert. Wisdom in reference is really just from the, the scriptures. It's not world of wisdom to, to be confused with saying, I have wisdom. I can give you counsel from the world because I know various things, but the wisdom we're referring to here is um, godly wisdom. That's good. It's a very specific wisdom. It's not, it's a, it's a special gift that certain people cannot, would, did not have. I mean, we have general, general wisdom, but then you said it's very specific. Right. That applies to the Christian. Continue your thought, Albert. I'm sorry. Well, the, the, the thought that I have is that um, the, the wisdom uh, from uh, our godly perspective um, isn't going to intertwine with uh, what the world has. So when people in churches say, I have a word of wisdom, it's coming out of the scripture. It isn't something new coming out of the air, because there's nothing, if it's new, it's the saying goes, if it's new, it's not true. If it's true, it's not new. Right. Mm-hmm. And always bringing the focal point back to God and his word. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Mr. Warren and Barbara, then, um, 
<laughs> then uh, Antoinette. No, wait, wait, wait. Anne Marie did have one. So Mr. Warren, Barbara, Anne Marie, then Antoinette. Okay, go ahead. Oh, so long. Back, back, in, uh, great. Uh, back in the Book of Acts, uh, that's when before the rest of the Scripture was written. Right. When the Holy Spirit wanted Himself exactly. wanted to communicate something to to an individual for a decision or for. Uh, uh, to, to tell them what the Holy Spirit wanted, mm -hmm. that the Holy Spirit would reveal that to them, and that was the wisdom that He wanted. I mean, right. that was a, mm -hmm. a, a sign gift, of course. But uh, but until the Scripture was written, mm -hmm. how else was the Holy Spirit going to communicate to people? Right, exactly. And this is the way. This is the way, Barbara. I oh, you're not this. Okay, I'm sorry. I misidentified you. Emory, you had something, right? Yes, when you were asking someone else or, or for a person that okay. God gave wisdom, um, when Moses was up on Mount Sinai and uh, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise cunning works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones to set them and in carving of timber to work in all the manner of workmanship. And then he also gave a holy ab uh, of the tribe of Dan and uh, and all the wise mm -hmm. learned mm -hmm. so the spirit so of God cool. even back then in the Old Testament mm -hmm. Good. for for the construction primarily application the construction of the of the tabernacle can you repeat those two references again uh, you said oh sorry that's Exodus thirty one um, and basically verses one down to uh, six Exodus and thirty one as you say for the tabernacle one to six. But they all work together. Yes, they work together. And then God gave him special wisdom in doing for doing this. And um, Antoinette. I think that um, <clears throat> I didn't I didn't explain what I meant thoroughly the first okay. time I spoke. But um, I, I agree with what Albert had said. And um, what it is is when you speak with someone and you have a word of wisdom for them at that time. What's coming out is of the Holy Spirit, and the other person recognizes that it's spiritually discerned, and there's a transference. There's the word that's spoken, and it's received by the other person, and that's considered a word of wisdom. It's from mm -hmm. God, and Jesus Christ is the word. It's a word of wisdom. He's the written word. Jesus Christ yeah, is the written word. and as far as the Bible goes, yeah, anything that is spoken is from the word. It's not mm -hmm. anything contrary mm -hmm. from the word of God. And so in, in, the, in the book of... It's a, particular, it's a particular word for that person at that time mm -hmm. in their life. So words of encouragement. Well, no, it's a word of wisdom. So it's uh, an answer to whatever it was that that person needed at that particular time. Okay, let me get let me get Wendy first, and we'll go to you, Albert. Okay, just a sec, just a second. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about this some more. Okay. Uh, were you finished, today, Antoinette? Yes. Uh, Wendy, you still there? Yes, I am, Pastor Dan. Good. Thank you for the sermon this morning. Amen. It was excellent. I can't wait to study it a little further. Thank you for the Bible study, and I want to greet everyone from Elroy. We are snowy, windy, and cold. Good. That's uh. <laughs> let's see. Thanks, Wendy, from Wisconsin, up in oh, no, Wendy. Cold. Cold. Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. <laughs> Oh, that's, I think that was all. Oh, if there's more Wendy, please call back. I hung up already. Wendy, Wendy. Uh, Albert, your thought. You continue. I just want to go too far, but with uh, Anthony Rosen, it, what when Wendy said, you know, it's like the charismatic church. It was very strongly with a lot, a lot. Of uh, came from, I have a word of knowledge for you. You're going to be pregnant in six months. You're going to have a new job. You're going to, and that was just smoke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but, but they would pop it up and pop right. it up and, and great expectations came from the direction they gave it, but it wasn't God. It truly wasn't I mean, So, yeah, so what you're saying, if people are cl claiming new revelation, mm -hmm. so like you were saying, you, you, this, you're going to get a new job, you're going to, this is going to happen to you, that's going to happen to you. That, that seems almost like it's extra biblical new revelation to, to something. And that's why we, we said that at the beginning that, the, at the, that these are sign gifts 
just during the transitional period until the scripture was fully completed. Yes. You know, in the first century church, the scripture was not fully completed. There was any parts of it was being done and completed here and there. But once 90 to 100 AD came along, then the canon of scripture was closed. The word of God was complete, and there was no more need to have additional revelation, additional types of things to add to it. Scripture is closed. Antoinette. <clears throat> Were you referring to the gift of prophecy or the gift of knowledge? Knowledge and prophecy. Oh, okay. They intertwine with the, this runaway train. Yeah. But if you have this, no discernment, it's a total runaway train, and the church just rose because they're taking that at your expense, my expense. Can, am I allowed to ask a question? Put, if somebody did give somebody, not not in the, this period, but say say, uh, five years ago, and said to someone, you're going to be working at this particular school, this is what's going to happen, and this, that, and the other, a prophetic word, if you will, and it comes to pass, and there's a blessing upon that, would you say that that was something that was from God? Or not? Well, there's a lot to be written for that. What was the sermon? Did you pursue it? Did you create education? Did you get different directions? It all to came to pass. It just all came to pass the for the person. It all came to pass for the person. Maybe so is that? Working the, towards all your life. Lucky guess. No. No, I so I, mean, I, I would think you, you want to be because that person was me, and it mm. did come to pass. Mm -hmm. And I do agree to disagree. I know there's yeah. different right. theological yes. views, and there I don't is, want yes. to argue. No, so, cause any kind of. Right. I'm just so saying that, that your, was my so experience. it's an experience, an experience you had. Some somebody who I didn't your, even know. She just your life experience. Prophetic words. Mm -hmm. Your life did experience. Did come to pass, and it was a blessing. Okay. And so, like, like, like we've said before, you know, we we believe that these are sign gifts I know. during during, and there's there's a whole segment, a sector of of Christianity, I'll say, that's out there, mm -hmm. the Pentecostal charismatic, neo charismatic movement, okay. that is that is teaching extra biblical things, and as far as these 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 things that these these are, these are still intact, and so constantly the danger with that is because you have. Um, People that are going to be adding to the scripture, people that are adding to the Word of God, and we don't want to add to the Word of God. You know, I don't have a, I don't have an explanation as far as why in your situation. I mean, there, there could be there could be some explanation, but I I hesitate to say the explanation. But you know, so we have the word of wisdom. Another is the word of prophecy. Probably word of knowledge. Now. Do you have another thought? Antoine, I'm sorry. Oh, What's your thought? Just my question mm -hmm. would be then, because, um, you know, I'm a, a truth seeker. I want to know the truth, because the truth sets us free. But um, when it talks about here, um, prophecy, gift of prophecy, what would that really be? Or, or we're not there yet, so forgive okay. me, that's verse well, 10. Well, when we get to there, what we'll talk about. The prophecy is idea of foretelling and foretelling. But now, talk about knowledge. Now, what is what is this gift of knowledge? Again, these are these are sign gifts, gifts that are for this particular age in church, the first century church. What is knowledge? We have wisdom. We have we have the to another the, the, we have the word of wisdom. Uh, we have the now we have the knowledge by the same spirit, the, the, the gift of knowledge. What is this? Uh, we're part of the word of knowledge. What is the word of knowledge? The understanding of information. Understanding of information. Jacob, what are, what are your clarifications here of uh, either word of knowledge or this um, gift of wisdom? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I have a... Uh, there's a scripture out of Deuteronomy uh, 13. I, I think I'll just read like 1 through 3, but... Okay. I guess I can read through 5. Uh, you see, these uh, new apostolic reformation leaders like Cindy Jacobs and Lou Engel... And Rick Joyner and a few others. I think he's IHOP more than NAR, but but they're joined with the neo charismatics. But uh, you see, uh, well, let me just read the let me just read the uh, the thing here because they they, they claim them uh, NAR people. They claim that if they're if they're getting sixty five percent of their prophecies right, then they're they're okay. They're just prophets in training. But if it's all or nothing, then you see. Uh, let me turn this down. This monitor is kind of probably bleeding over. Uh, 
you see, uh, those people not to be believed and even put to death. Let me read this. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 13, 1 through 5. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and give it thee a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proveth you to know it, whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. And that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams, shall be put to death, because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out of the way which the Lord thy God commanded thee to walk. So shall thou put the evil away from the midst of thee. Uh, yeah, this, uh, you never know when, you know, they won't give a right prophecy. So I guess I'll just leave it at that. Uh, I'm not attacking no persons. I'm just attacking this doctrine of, uh, okay. the word of knowledge is, uh, I guess, you know, it's real hard to say a lot of times where a thing is coming from. So, you know, have a good day. God bless. Right, thanks, Jack. Appreciate the call. So, Deuteronomy 5, I think it was. Can I add? Oh, please add to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Deuteronomy 18, 21, and 2. If thou say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, then is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Okay. Mr. Warren, go ahead. Now. Mr. Warren. A good example of it was uh, uh, so-called brother camping. Yes, that's he, right. Mm -hmm. He made, uh, right. you know, like, it's going to happen at a certain time, and right. I, mm -hmm. I, I have... Uh, thought it up and, and I've studied this and, and I know that's going to happen and it never did and, mm -hmm. and so uh, all kinds of excuses were there why it right. didn't happen mm -hmm. but I believe he was a false prophet because right. it did not come to pass mm -hmm. that's right Paul, Anna you have a thought um, yes well a lot of times with the, the, the biblical prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel mm -hmm. you know and Elijah and like all, all the different prophets. Weren't there oftentimes prophecies of things that were to come that were like in almost immediate fulfillment and then there were distant prophecies right. as well. So that way, like it was a demonstration that what the prophet said was true mm -hmm. and that what he was saying about things far into the future were also true. That's right. So we have a near fulfillment and a, a distant fulfillment. A near, close, and a distant fulfillment. Uh, so we have wisdom, we have knowledge, and all these are, aren't are active today. They were active during this transitional time of the age of when the church it was in its first century in its infant state. To another faith by the same spirit. So, what would this, how would we explain this spiritual gift? To another faith. Tammy. Um, special faith, if I would have faith as a grain of mustard seed, I would say, say to this mountain, you know, be moved up into the sea. And, okay. Um, you know, something extraordinary. Kind of a special faith. A special faith that was, that was only active in this time period of, of the first century. Correct? I was going to say that to every man is given a measure of faith. Right. So this is above that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Above above the normal measure of faith. Rick? Yeah, I just had a question. Mm -hmm. With this word, I don't know Greek, and so I'm, I'm, I'm really at a disadvantage here and everything, but with that word to another faith, would that be, you don't have multiple words to mean that, or it's like multiple word things, meanings for faith, say, mm -hmm. It, this would probably have to have like a different translation of a faith that's for that period of time. Then the faith that we are all given mm -hmm. to walk thee in is a different kind of a faith, right? So it would probably be translated differently. The same one. I, I would suspect it's still the same word, pistos. I think so. Okay. Uh, but uh, that's a good thought. I mean, why? Why do we you know? 
I believe it's the same the same word as of the just shall live by faith. I think okay. it's the same I believe the Greek word behind both those you know, both those it's instances are the same. Okay. All right. I think so. Huh. The article is, would be, I agree with it. No, no we're, we're wondering if the article would be before the word faith. Oh, the faith? faith? Okay, got it. Okay, so because when we have the presence of the article, uh, what does that mean? That's good. The body of doctrine. The body of doctrine. Uh, uh, very good. No, so, so, so that, that, that's, that's a good distinction. Sometimes, even though we have the same word, when you have a, a definite article, mm -hmm. versus, you know, the definite article meaning the. Right. Sometimes right. we have a translated, sometimes it's not, but the, and some and versus the indefinite article, a. Right. So sometimes the faith is when we have the definite article there, we have, we have a huge, a huge body that's referring to doctrine as opposed to, you know, saving faith, that, that type of thing. Thank you. Um, but we're going to clear, we have a, Anna's going to check that out for me Thank in you. a moment. Thank you, Anna. Um, uh, by the same spirit. To another, the gift of healing by the same spirit. So all these gifts are from the same source, the same spirit. They're not from some demonic source. Mm -hmm. In the context of the first century church, they're coming from the same spirit. Now, some, in some instances, in some parts of the world, you have a demonic type of influence that's, that's present. That can, that can manifest some of these things. But that's not from the Spirit of God. That's from some some demonic type of activity. That's the false false gods that are trying to mimic the gifts of the Spirit. Mm. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. Now, Anna, what do you find out? There is there's no article. There's an absence of an article. So it's a quality. So it's so it's so it's faith. It's not faith. not the body of doctrine, but faith. Um, like the Tammy mentioned earlier, you say that this mountain be remove 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 thus that that type of that type of thing. And just just in the first century church. Mm -hmm. Now, again, we have another one of these temporary sign gifts, um, the gift of healing. Now, what I mean, it's self-explanatory, but what what is what is the gift of healing? You're a doctor. You can heal people. Okay. But more specifically, what would you say? Okay, that's, good. that's a good start. We're doctors, they help people get better. But as far as when when the doctor can't help you... That's not good for you. You know, when the doctor can't help you, I mean, no, we're going back, not today, not in this time period, not, not in 2016, but going back to the year 50, the year 60, the year 70 A.D., yeah, but they had people that could yeah. heal. They had they, they did have people that could heal. They had doctors. They had physicians then. Yeah. Luke was a physician. Luke was a doctor. Luke was the, I'm not sure if he was MD, DO, or what kind of doctor he was, or a, a, a homeopathic doctor. I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of doctor Luke was, but he was he was some kind of doctor that practiced medicine that could give people medicine. Guess Rick. I, I was thinking about the gift of healing to yeah. me. Yes. Meant the recipient. <clears throat> Uh, it, 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 the gift a person prepares a gift and then they give it to somebody. Okay. But the way it's uh, the way I'm reading this anyway is that the Holy Spirit is the giver of the gift. Okay. So the gift of healing is received by Rick Topko sitting here in <coughs> that first century of the church. I don't know. I'm just okay. So you're saying an individual has the gift of healing and they can go around and if somebody has an ailment, that person could be. The Lord, the Holy Spirit, will work through them to enable them to be healed of their ailment. Is that what you're saying? No, not no. really. I was saying it's actually the person who is sick, okay. the person they bring to, and one of the one of the people that that at that point in time, as the anointing would come through the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, would be poured out through someone, maybe mm -hmm. the laying on of hands or whatever they were doing, how they were getting it. But the person that was sitting there who was sick was the one ultimately who got the gift. Because now they're healed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's just like the way I read it. I don't, I don't know. The English won't support that. I would agree with that, but they English won't support that. Okay, let's, um, Mr. Warren, you had a thought about that? Peter and Paul, uh, both healed people. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And that's what I mean. I understand what you're saying. The person that was healed does receive this this benefit of this. Yeah. But there was an agent behind it. Yes. And then we have the Holy Spirit granted working through a human individual. Right. The manifestation um, of the Spirit was to the person. Power. But to, but to get caught up on it with Peter or Paul would be the same mentality uh, that's not scriptural of saying that Mary was gifted to, to be uh, the vessel that delivered uh, Christ. Okay. So you got to keep your focus on who the power is. The power is from God. So Amen. ultimately, the Holy Spirit is the one that's working through somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's how that's how this how how it is with all these sign gifts. The Holy Spirit is working through somebody else. Amen. The, the, the horrible problem in the charismatic church settings is when they have heal, faith healing meetings mm -hmm. and what, and, and, oh, they, yeah. and I've been in them, and I've mm -hmm. seen how horrible they turn out right. to be for people. Yes. Because uh, they manipulate, and but people come from miles around, sell what they have to come get their hands or receive hands laid on from so and so. Why their coffers explode, um, and these people go home the same way they came. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tammy and then the Mary. Oh, Mary, go ahead. Um, when we came out of the charismatic background, and what I'm really finding with a lot of these things mm -hmm. is when God is moving through a person to do any one of the gifts, it's a different, you receive it differently. You know it's God. You have an honor and a respect for the power that's coming through whoever. But I think the problem in a lot of charismatic things is the leaders, because it isn't from God, they get puffed up. I can do this. My church moves in this. And it moves away from the honor, the respect, and the power of God to the power of man. Mm -hmm. And it isn't, it's not the same. It's not a God, essentially. So we're saying, a tangent and bill. Well, kind of tagging on to what Mary said, I mean, mm -hmm. um, you know, I was thinking about how a lot of these men are idolized. You know, mm -hmm. I sang, sang that this morning, and, and um, a lot of times an idol isn't always what it was in the Old Testament. It's the idol of the heart, mm -hmm. and a lot of times it's... Uh, Almost a over, um, like a, almost like a worshipful attitude toward men, mm -hmm. and and that's, I mean, it's it happens in all sorts of venues, not just not just the church, but I mean, it, it applies to the church, but it also applies in other venues in, mm -hmm. in the world. It does. Go. I think uh, most people are somewhat superstitious. Uh, Satan's oldest lies, hath God said. And we're still hearing that same lie over and over again, mm -hmm. you know, 20 billionth time, yes. and we're still falling for it. Yes, mm -hmm. that's that right. That proves we're superstitious. Mm. <clears throat> Mr. Warren. Um, when I was in Bogota, Colombia, um, th there's a big church. I mean, it must have 10,000 people mm -hmm. coming. And it's just, after the preaching, they have this, uh, people coming forward and, and uh, you know, su supposedly getting healed and getting the spirit and, and falling on the floor and all mm -hmm. this. And I, I think it's it's a, a big deception, really, because uh, it, it just um, goes to the extreme. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I don't think it's really of the Lord. The preaching was of the Lord, but afterward, mm -hmm. they had really strong, and in Latin America, that's really, really strong. Mm -hmm. for, for sad, isn't it? As far as the strong influence of that. Because uh, they're so emotional anyway. <laughs> yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Before we leave this, sure. mm -hmm. uh, James. <coughs> Is there any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is he merry? Let him sing psalms. If any, is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. That's and that's where we mm -hmm. are now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... 
I think the problem is is one of the kings of Israel got in trouble with God because he went to the physicians and it wasn't that he went to the physicians it was he didn't go to God first mm -hmm. yep. and I think that's that ties in with James is that that's where we have to go first we have to go to to God the elders of the church are commissioned to do this mm -hmm. not just because I set myself up as an apostle of healing mm -hmm. that's because the Bible says it already it's a special order of things, right? Mm -hmm. Special order. There's a special order of things that has to take place. Mm -hmm. Special order of things. More thoughts on these these three verses we talked about so far. These three different sign gifts that are for temporary sign gifts during the first century church. Albert and then Gary and then Jill. It's just like a, a, a tangential. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll so, oh, go ahead, Gary. I mean, uh, go, uh, Albert. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, last year when I was in the hospital, you and Tammy came to visit and, and whatnot. And, yes. Uh, but going back to before uh, the night that I was in, um, Joe had made phone calls and called you guys and called the pastor and whatnot. And uh, that first night, I was on the operating schedule to go in and have surgery that morning. And uh, I know you guys were praying, and your father actually called at like quarter of seven. And he was up to Chinese church or something. Like that. Right. Um, that, but he, he prayed with me for a bit. And uh, right after I hung up, a uh, nurse and a resident walked to the room and gave me good news, bad news, that they weren't going to send me to surgery, um, but they were going to put me on a uh, antibiotic IV for a week and, mm. and I had to stay and whatnot. Uh, but my, my point is, you know, he prayed over me as the elders in the church, and still the modern medicine came and did the healing in my body. Right. So mm -hmm. it, God works things out. It, right. it wasn't mm -hmm. healing service that I mm -hmm. did in Zap. You're healed. You walk away, and then you walk in a parking lot, and you're still sick. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. God be the glory. That's, Amen. That's, that's, that's. Amen. Randy, and then Joel. If somebody does pray uh, and another person is healed, how would that differ from the gift of, of uh, healing? If they 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 not would still be used by God to pray and for another to get well. I, I think so. I mean, the the one instance when they're sick and one and then once one has somebody has an incurable ailment, like the lame man at the beautiful gate of the temple, mm -hmm. you know, the the, the man at the the pope Bethesda, all these just illustrations, the, the the man was lame from his mother's birth. You know, you, you can't. That you can't go to the doctor and get fixed for that. You can't. The doctor can't solve that problem. It's something that's beyond the scope of medicine. That's that's when God steps in and does something very special, uh, as opposed to someone that just the second you we, we pray for God to we do pray for people to heal God to heal people that are sick to get them better, make cause them to be better. And so I, I understand what you're trying to. You're trying to distinguish between the two. What's the difference is what you're asking. Well, if, if you were saying, like you would say, somebody was an agent of this gift, a, the per, a personal agent, mm -hmm. and if somebody were to pray tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, and if somebody were made well, they would be an agent. In this, is there another way that they would be an agent? Is that different? or God is answering their prayer. Yeah. They're, they're not... They're, they're not. They have a. They don't have a direct interaction with the person. That, that that's in the sense of, of the of the layman at the beautiful gate of the temple. It, it, it's 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 slightly different. I mean, there there's a similarity. I mean, some sometimes the, the God God answers prayers of, of people's health issues, health concerns that are beyond. You know, it's 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 it's, it's we, we we would label it a miracle to a certain degree. Um, we would hesitate to label a label miracle, but yes, the medical community would say they won't have an explanation about why this happened. But God answered the prayer, and so, but it's not necessarily the gift of healing. It's not classified as the gift of healing. Uh, let me see. Some Jill, you had a comment, did you? Well, originally I didn't, but now I do. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> a certain time, uh, one time, there was a gentleman who was crippled or probably 
like crippled, mm -hmm. almost crippled, or whatever. But mm -hmm. um, they did the laying of hands on him in the service, charismatic service, whatever. And then two people grabbed him by the hand. One person went on his right hand side, one person went on the left hand side, and they went running with him across the church in like one big circle. And he had like a very distraught look on his face. While they were running with him, I'm like, oh, look, at he's healed, he's healed. And in the meantime, he was still in horrific pain. Aww. But the fact that, that he was just on his feet, even though he was being dragged by these people, they were like, eh, and worshiping in God, and just completely deceived even more, in like a much deeper way. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, I was at that service, and part of that service that she's referring to. And... Uh, that was one of the discerning parts where I had in, in my faith because you know, Joe had been planting seeds in me for a while uh, of, of using discernment mm -hmm. uh, uh, and reading God's word more so. Um, but uh, the, the, the worst scenario of all that is the uh, pastors and the elders in the charismatic church where that transpired uh, would come up and say that his faith hasn't matured yet. Mm. You aren't strong in your faith yet. That's why you're not receiving mm. the blessing. And then that just completely crushes a person mm -hmm. because, all right, now they're looking at leaders and, and not God's word, but they're looking at leaders mm -hmm. who are telling them your your faith. Is, right. you, you have to work on your faith. That's mm -hmm. the problem. That's why you're not right. receiving your mm -hmm. blessings. You're not faithful. Right. All right, Mr. Warren? Uh, Anna, Anna, Anna oh. Randy. Okay, Mr. Warren? I, I would just like to ask you to really pray hard for Marty because I've been praying and praying and praying and praying for her but the Lord just hasn't answered you know right. to, to change the situation and heal her but I just would we'll uh, continue, just pray, we'll continue to pray for her ask you to pray for mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. right continue to pray for her maybe even the doctors would have some wisdom and reduce some of the, un, the, the optional medicine the PRN medicine, the medicine that perhaps they're giving to her, it's it's a PRN, but they're giving it to her all the time instead of just as needed. Um, but we'll pray that the, the, the medical community will give her just what she needs for medicine, and that the Lord will bring her back to the health that, that she needs to needs to be in. Okay. And let me see, uh, was it Randy? Oh, Antoinette. Okay, Antoinette. Ladies first. Yeah. I'm just going to say that if I had gone to a Presbyterian PCA church, Presbyterian Church of America, and I had asked for prayer, um, he said, well, I don't have any oil, but we can pray. The next morning, everything was cleared up. Now, I go to a Pentecostal church, and the same thing happens. I go for prayer, and I was healed, and it was genuine. Um then what you're saying is then that's not really um, a gift of healing. In both cases, it was just like the scripture teaches, they were praying for me mm -hmm. for it to be healed. And then I was healed in both the Presbyterian and the Pentecostal church. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what James says. Yes. The prayer of faith. I know. So yeah. Like Ever hurts. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, Randy. But, you know, but, but oh, I'm just yeah, saying, like, in the... I mean, but, Randy. But, go ahead. Okay. Um, did we finished or... I, I think okay. maybe I just wanted to add that, but in the okay. Pentecostal church, they'll say, well, that's... You know, the gift of healing. Extra, they're mm -hmm. exercising a gift of healing. Mm -hmm. It is understood, like, um, I think someone was saying that you were saying... Mm -hmm. I don't know your first name, but you were right. saying... You were talking about how it's not from the person... It's from right. the Holy Spirit. It's from God. Yeah. So to that's all I wanted to say. That in, in, in accordance to His will, yes, that. within the accordance of God's will. In, yeah. in according yeah. with God's mm -hmm. will and purpose, because sometimes we can pray for healing and it doesn't happen that's right. for whatever reason. Right. Mm -hmm. Anna, mm -hmm. Anna? Uh, Well, I just think it's um, significant that the Lord sent Christ when He did, because if Christ were to come today, when we sure. have all this medicine and people might not believe because they would just mm, it's okay. just people nowadays I mean we our understanding of our anatomy and how our body works has expanded to the extent that sometimes we rely on science mm. more than God and so mm. if Christ were to come 
today there would be probably even be fewer that would believe. Yes. Of course, now the development of modern medicine that exists today may have come as a result of Judeo-Christian beliefs, but then we proceed to turn out what anyway. Yes. Right. Uh, just to say, there's a point where the the doctrine that is taught in some of these churches cancels out God's sovereignty. By and here, here's how I, I've noticed that mm -hmm. they'll say that uh, God it has to heal. Mm -hmm. He can only heal. Therefore, God isn't sovereign anymore. Uh, he cannot use mm. uh, sickness to get somebody's attention. Exactly. Uh, and he he's obligated to heal by force. Mm -hmm. And that's that's where it crosses wrong lines. Right. right. And it's, uh, and it's heresy. Barbara, the name right. Where it goes further is that healings in the atonement. Oh yes, okay. that's that's, 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 that's a horrible, that's right. yeah. Yeah. horrible yeah. heresy. Yes, yeah. even some of the well, yeah, that's that's a, a bad a bad teaching. Mm -hmm. Anne Marie, the Randy. That's what I was going oh, to say. Okay. By, by his stripes he are healed. Okay. And so therefore they say that nobody should be sick. People in nursing homes should not be there. They should not be in wheelchairs. We know we know someone who actually believes that and preaches that. You look in the mirror and you say, I'm fine, I'm great today, I'm I'm wonderful, mm -hmm. and, uh, and <laughs> I'm not going to be in a wheelchair, I'm not going to be sick, I'm not going to look like an old lady anymore. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Randy, 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 Okay. It's just a second, Randy. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, Randy. Go ahead. Uh, a, a friend who was a doctor asked me point blank one mm -hmm. time, uh, do I believe Jesus that uh, our healing was purchased on Calvary? But I had to honestly say, thank God I can pray if I'm sick. Mm -hmm. He would, could hear my prayer and heal me, of course. But I can't. Uh, the answer, uh, I said, Dave, is no. He purchased my soul. Mm -hmm. He purchased us on Calvary. He paid for me so I could go to heaven, mm -hmm. not for uh, subsequent benefits that mm -hmm. could or mm -hmm. could could he could heal. Right. No problem. Mm -hmm. Opera, you did something? Oh, I, I can keep going back to the extreme extremes and where people will take the, the, the faith issue and healing that when their children are sick, they won't even take them to a hospital, and they end up dying. Mm, and that's right. Because of, and they constantly they believe it's their faith. And if they if they waver and take their child to a hospital, mm -hmm. then their faith is weak. Right. I mean, there's a certain I mean, there's a certain element with that. Yes, they need to get in the proper treatment, but a certain element where they can be selective in what kind of treatment they get of them. And they don't need some type of attention, medical attention, but they have, they should have the option of being selective in the type of medical attention. They get give to them, but yeah, they need to seek. They need to pray, but they they need to if they need medicine, they need the medicine. Except when they're actually seeing mm -hmm. the child. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's, yeah. Yeah. If it's a very obvious mm -hmm. thing that yeah, with something where a very simple, well script would, would help them. You know, praise the Lord, we have modern medicine today. Um, Joe. They'll be held accountable for that for not. Watching their child die before their eyes and not doing a thing about it, and saying, "Well, it's God; he'll just live or he'll just die because we don't believe in the blood transfusion or whatever." Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, Jacob, then Anna, and uh, we have an email here too. Go, oh, Jacob. Uh, yes, sir. You know the people that want to use this uh, Isaiah fifty-three five. Uh, you see uh, that that healing that was back in that transitional period and in the Old Testament and even uh, even even on to you know till the, till the scripture was completed it was to show the proof that God's word was uh, verifiable quite verifiable through the miracles exactly. but uh, here mm -hmm. you know they'll, they'll leave this part out you know he it says but he was wounded this is Isaiah 53 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. But these people want to these people want to say that they have the special gift. You see, uh, that that gift was along with all the other sign gifts and the prophecy and and, and so forth. They ended there in uh, 
First Corinthians uh, thirteen ten. So we do have the whole scripture now, and, and you know he uses he uses our pain a lot of times to bring us closer to him. I know this personally. That's right. Thank you, Jacob. So uh, First Corinthians thirteen ten says, uh, but 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 that which is perfect is come, and that which is in part shall be done away. Uh, so now let me see. Um, Anne, right? You had a yes. Well, like with the people, the the comments earlier about people just having the positive attitude. I mean, to a certain extent, like you know, a merry heart doeth good, like a medicine with mm-hmm. broken spirit, right? But also, to right. a certain extent, your mental state, your your emotional state, can affect your your um, physical well-being, yeah. but it only goes so far. Mm-hmm. I mean. No matter how much you say, I can walk, if your spinal cord is severed and there is no no function going to your legs, you won't be able to walk. It doesn't matter how determined you are that you can, because if if the Reality. if it's broken, then you... Reality. So it's like, I mean, there's... It's a good word. I mean, like... <laughs> you, You're right. It only goes so no. far there. Yeah. Right. Tammy, was there was your email, Tammy? Yes, there's an email. Let's start with the email. Uh, Pastor Dan, greetings to you and all our BFT church family there in Collingswood and to those watching by internet. Yes, it's very cold here in northern Maine, but it's also a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> so, thank you. I, uh, Pastor, John, uh, just a minute, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Pastor, thank you very much for this morning's message and this afternoon's Bible study. We are also thankful to Tammy for her ministry and song. Amen. Glad to be with you all as we study God's holy word together, praying the Lord's richest blessing upon each and every one of you. Thank you. In his love, Carl and Vicki. Thank you. I was waiting for the Alberts up in Maine. It's cold. It's cold. Uh, John didn't mean right. John's good. By stress, you're healed. It's talking about a spiritual healing, not a physical healing. Yes. I mean, so, I mean what, he, sadly... Some of, the, some of the early fundamentalists, they, they believed in this healing by the Potomac. Early, I mean, going back to the uh, late 1800s, 1800s. Early, early late 1800s, um, they believed in this. I mean, not some of them, not all of them, which was a, was a false, was a puzzling, was very puzzling why they would why they believe that. So that that's this doctrine, healing that healing by the Potomac went back even to the 1800s. Um, Rick, I mean, and Marie. Yeah. Uh, one of the thoughts I had is because I feel God has touched me and actually healed me a, a number of times. Mm-hmm. But it's God sovereign. See, I think that what's happening in church and a lot of the circles and even some of the mm-hmm. uh, evangelical, Pentecostal type of yes. mm-hmm. things that we were involved with becomes very legalistic. And you get locked into this is his matters and this is how we do it. This is how we claim it. No, he's God. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and because he's awesome right. and he's God and he's sovereign. Mm-hmm. We have to understand that it, it's up to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he does bring healing, you know, to us in situations and all like that. But we can't kind of get up there like that little child with mommy, they're checking out, and she's jumping up and down, she wants the candy. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can't go before an awesome God of the universe and do that jumping up and down and make that kind mm-hmm. of demand. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's God, right. you know, and I think that's what's, I think that's what's that's really right. missing mm-hmm. in, in some some of the churches like that. I, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I, look at I, I got caught up into it too. So yes. you know, I'm like, no. Right. That's right. Can the play stay to the potter? No, he can't. Yes. Yeah. Henry, Bill, and Tammy. Yeah. Henry. Exactly. In John chapter four, verse forty-eight, um, the, like really not much different mm-hmm. than than it was in Jesus' time. Then Jesus said, you know, unto him, except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. Mm-hmm. And and that's what's happening even, let's say, in a country like India, this right. charismatic movement is taking over, that if somebody's cow is mm-hmm. healed, mm-hmm. Then, then they say, well, I'm going to believe because mm-hmm. of this. Right. Wow. And, and didn't um, also... The Jews seek a sign, and the Greeks seek wisdom. Mm, that's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Bill. Uh, it all sounds like the time when uh, uh, Jesus was in uh, the desert, and uh, he was going for 40 days without food and water, and the devil said, jump off this, uh, mm-hmm. yes. this place, and then uh, 
the angels will save you. It's right. the same type of a situation. It is tempting the Lord. Mm -hmm. It is tempting. The Lord is sovereign. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Right. Uh, Tammy, then we'll go to Wendy next. Tammy, then Wendy. Uh, all I was going to say is um, uh, kind of what Rick was mm -hmm. talking about. You know, it's a matter of holiness and reverencing the Lord and being submissive in our spirits because He's God and we're not. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I, I, uh, when do you, when do you go ahead, please? Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, yes, for Dan. I'm calling in because I've been through some of these churches, too, and they said because I had a lack of faith, I'm not healed for my diabetes. No, I serve a sovereign God. Amen. God has healed me in so many different ways, not as the healing of laying on hands or anything else, but through his word, he has talked to me. He shows me what goes on in my entire life, and no matter if I'm not cured for my diabetes, I go home and I will be cured then. Mm -hmm. I don't go to a Benny Hinn to hit me in the head and say I'm cured. <laughs> Only the Word of God can cure the soul. Yep. Hallelujah. That's right. Yeah. All right, thanks, Wendy. Let's wave the Wendy from Wisconsin. Yeah. How was the doing? So, of these, uh, of these uh, three, we look at today, we have the um, wisdom, the healing, and the faith. All these are sign gifts that are intended to be in, in, their, in their proper function, their proper use, or intended to be in the first century church only. Albert. In, in Revelation, it, it tells us that uh, God's going to give us whole bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, with that very promise, it goes without saying that we're going to have ailments. And mm -hmm. that'll be part of what we go through in life. That's, right. That's, mm -hmm. it is. So that's true. Mm -hmm. To expect everything that's to right. be healed mm -hmm. and taken away, it, right. it's mm -hmm. not according to God. Right. 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 That's right. And mm -hmm. you have a desire, absolutely. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Expectation, when you look at the whole, mm -hmm. things are going to happen. That's right, exactly. And the physical is, is the least uh, amount of importance according to what yes, the, the spirit right. is. Mm -hmm. The spirit is what is going to heaven, and, mm -hmm. and uh, what happens down here, sometimes it just um, will keep on going because right. because that, that may not be the Lord's will for us. Right, that's correct. Any more thoughts about these three verses here we looked at this, this afternoon? Barbara and then Jill. Um. This whole thing from 7 down to 10, mm -hmm. well, I know we haven't gotten that far yet, but, but everything that's included yes. in there is very, very much currently alive and well and practiced in the occult mm -hmm. and in witchcraft. And um, the thing that brought me out of the charismatic movement that I had been in and practiced well for 40 years mm -hmm was wow. I worked with a coven for almost a year <laughs> witnessing to them. Mm -hmm. And we were doing the same thing, only in a different name. And I'm going, when when I realized that, it was like, mm -hmm. okay, one of us is wrong, and it has to be me because, the you know, the witches aren't going to copy the Christians. It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> when the Christians start copying and doing the same thing, the witches are right. doing, we got a oh, problem. Right. That's right. That's, that's, so, a good, that's <laughs> an excellent so, observation. Good observation, yes. And I just turned around and walked away from something mm -hmm. I had done for 40 years. Joe. Good. 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 Yeah, say so some of the... So uh, strongest Christians in the world have some of the most physical pain in mm -hmm. their life, mm -hmm. and God's clearly mm -hmm. using that pain yes. to draw closer in general to Himself, but also to yes. mature them, to refine right. them like mm -hmm. gold, so that mm -hmm. they'll be perfect, wanting nothing. Yes, that's right. It encourages yes. all yes. Yes. Gone, and, and, and the scriptures tell us that there's nothing new that your, your brothers and sisters mm -hmm. haven't already gone through. So yes. I'm out of context. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's the assurance we see, mm -hmm. the encouragement we have when mm -hmm. we see others that can have really raised yes. themselves right. up mm -hmm. through Christ and have gone forward in their right. afflictions. Mm -hmm. That was the whole example of Paul's journey, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That girl that broke her neck. Johnny Erickson. Johnny Erickson. That's a wonderful. Johnny Erickson. Uh, mm. it, it really brings out what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. You know, and, mm -hmm. and she has witnessed to many, many, many people because of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perhaps people she would never be able to communicate with or interact with before. Mm -hmm. Any more? Uh, oh, Anna, you have a thought. Well, um, well it's interesting, like, like, I mean, our God is very powerful, but sometimes we forget that there are, like, 
I mean, Satan is nowhere near as powerful, mm -hmm. but yet he is so much more powerful than us, and there can be very dangerous situations that we get into, like like this. The missionaries and like the African brush. I mean, here in the United States, perhaps like there's there's a greater concentration of Christians, and so the the Holy Spirit is present in a greater detail. So there's less that Satan does here, but in some places, like he has more of a hold over people, and it can be. I mean, it's true. Michael, when disputing with the, the arch, with, with Michael the archangel was disputing with the devil, and he durst not bring a railing accusation against him, but said, "The Lord rebuked thee." And so, um, I guess we're, I'm trying to have a point, and I'm losing my point. So, but Satan's like a roaring lion, but, seeking whom he may devour. Yes. And the very point that that the archangel, the arch, archangel, didn't want to take him on head to head. You know, is what you're trying to the point you're trying to make. So I guess the there's. Sorry, we have to be careful. Yeah. Because sometimes, um, like when Mrs. Masters was saying, sometimes these things can become like it's very close and it's very fuzzy as to where something is, and that's mm -hmm. not necessarily the safest place to be. Right, I agree. Discernment and infinite. Yeah. I, I disagree with the idea that <clears throat> Satan is more powerful than us. It says in the Word that greater is he that is in me. Well, he than that he is, is in, in you. Yeah. Not see, you not acting not you. yourself. That's, that's you a, have that's to a, act a, by the power of God. The Spirit of the Holy God. God is power, more powerful than Satan. But, so he that is in you. But you can't take Satan on in, in of us, the flesh. Can if you, if power, you try and right? take Satan so on in of your own flesh, then you are going to fall flat on your face. So, so that's why you have to be very humble and make sure that the Lord is in control. I mean, see Eve, so, but, so you're not saying that, that Satan's more powerful than us? Well, I'm, I'm not saying... In our flesh. In our flesh. He's more powerful than, than humans who are not acting in the power of God. So, I guess if my, yeah. so then my the stipulation is, is what you're saying is the stipulation would be if you're walking with Christ, then greater is He that is in me than He's in the world. So he if we're walking with Christ, you're saying then I mean, if we you're can walking exercise Christ, that there power? will still be attacks, but you have to always be looking, keep your eyes fixed on Christ because the moment you look at yourself and you try and fight Satan, then He's gonna. He's going to sift you like wheat. You can't yes. fight but in the flesh. But wait a minute. But if you're saved and you have the power of God in you and you're exercising that, but you how might not Satan be more powerful than you? Okay, just a second. I don't understand what uh, she's saying. Randy, um, Mary, Albert, and Mary. Okay. Where, it, doesn't it say somewhere in the scripture, Dan, where they overcame him, referring to Satan or the Antichrist, mm -hmm. I think, by the... Word of their testimony and, and the, the blood, blood of, of the, the Lamb. Lamb. Blood of the Lamb. Amen. That's right. Blood of the Lamb. Mary? Um, we always say Jesus. We oh. went to the um, Cape May Zoo one time. Okay. Yeah. And God showed me a great lesson there. But not us. Oh, I'm sorry. So they, um, they had this lion. It was mm -hmm. the biggest lion I have ever seen. And he started to roar. Mm -hmm. I mean, you vibrated if you were near him. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mm -hmm. looked at him and I thought, Good grief. Mm. All he has to do is take one fall and it's all over. He doesn't have to work very hard. Mm -hmm. yep. Or supposing he didn't have any teeth, like the scripture said. Those jaws bite down on you and you're losing an arm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yep. I mean, he is strong. Mm -hmm. And I thought about Satan. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, he is strong. Mm hmm and we need the blood of Jesus. We do. We, we do. need Jesus Christ, and we need to rely on Him, right? So we don't get deceived. Albert, Emery, is it? Is it sort of trying to? Oh, that's right. No, no. I mean, it's, he's, he's got to watch his broken. Oh. <laughs> 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 Discernment. I, I, I respect what she's saying, but but mm. the understanding of right. it is not that uh, God isn't stronger. The Holy Spirit isn't stronger in us. Um, but the, the devil deceived Eve in the garden to start. And since I got saved, I've still had battles.
battles and have battles periodically. And so he's a danger. He's a threat. He has, he's a manipulator. Oh, I agree with that, but I don't agree with the idea that because Satan is powerful, he's more powerful than I mean, us in the sense of if, if, we're if we not have Jesus Christ. Up. But if we, if Jesus Christ, if the oh, Spirit of God lives in us, mm-hmm. and He says we're more than a conqueror <clears throat> or overcomers because He overcame, then why can't we? Okay, Anne Marie and Cammy, okay. Anne Marie, and isn't that our, a, a primary? Like, so I think I think that's what I mean. I think that's what you think about. Yes, we have. We're dwelt by the Holy Spirit of God. We have to understand the. How we do not want to underestimate the power of Satan in particular. And the power of all his minions. 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 They're, 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 they're power, power, power creatures. And as Anna, as Anna mentioned, the verse, as far as the, the, Michael the archangel when contending, he says, the Lord rebuked thee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jude. Yeah. The Lord rebuked yeah, the book of Jude. Um, Anne-Marie, you have a thought to you? I was just thinking, um, this goes right back, as was said, yes. to the Garden of Eden with mm-hmm. Eve. Right. Um, when she was told, you shall be as gods, yes. and people are being taught, even people that say that they have these special gifts, mm-hmm. they and, and people are being taught, it's the God within you, you are God, N- knowing there's knowledge, good and evil, mm-hmm. and... When the woman saw, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, mm-hmm. wisdom, knowledge, and to be a god, mm-hmm. and that's that hasn't changed, and the deception mm-hmm. still goes on, mm-hmm. and Satan right. and his mm-hmm. de- uh, devils are. I mean, see, if, if humanity, if mankind was more powerful than Satan, and they wouldn't have fallen. The Satan's. They want, to, they want to have been deceived by Satan. No, but if they're spirit-filled and no. they have God living in them, no, it they, says we're more than a yeah. conqueror. That, that well, we, I, I, I do understand what you're saying. Because he overcame. You know, we, we do have to, we have to in, in the name of the, but we can't say that's that's God again. It's not us as human beings, our flesh. No. Uh, I'm not and, uh, it's Tammy it's and then Albert. I'm saying it's God. Oh, or Tammy and Albert. Um, I just wanted to bring up the example of Peter, because some would say, oh, well, Peter wasn't saved at that time. But think about the confession that he made, you know, thou art you know, the Christ. And then, you know, get behind me, Satan. The Lord rebuked Satan because Satan was influencing him. And then Satan sifted him like wheat and when, when he denied the Lord three times. You know, so we're all vulnerable. And we may think that we are, we're not stronger than Satan, and only Christ is stronger than Satan. We, are, we, we can't depend upon ourselves at all. But we can do all things through Christ who yes. strengthens us, correct? Through as Christ. long as it's through Christ, through Christ. Through Christ. Okay, no, Anna, it's through Christ. Anna, Phil, the sword. Anna, go ahead. Um, uh, 1 Timothy 3, 6, and 7, this is in reference to the, the bishop. It's when Paul is telling Timothy about the qualifications for a bishop. Um, not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. So, um, it's... Before you become too prideful of... So in that that verse, it is possible to fall into the snare of the devil. Mm -hmm. And so, which means that he would have, he would get the upper hand. Uh, Joe, Mr. Warren, then Albert. Oh, Albert. Albert. Albert, Albert, then... I'm just saying, we we, we are blessed to know the the, the victory is ours in Christ. The battle is won. Jesus, that's right. Right, but the victory is ours, but the battle will go on. Sure. But when they're saying that... Uh, they, they're not really saying that, that the devil's stronger. They're saying that he's a constant said. threat. The well, stronger. Well, he's stronger than our flesh because we fight our battles with our flesh as well as with our faith at various times. Mm-hmm. I'm not always well, in the spirit. I get poked sometimes. My reaction isn't always godly, and I, I'm humble enough to say that true. But the point is that you can have vulnerability in the midst of your walk. I totally agree with that. Well, well then, that, totally then, agree you, with that. then it is a dangerous, he is a dangerous mm-hmm. foe. Sure he is, like he said. Mm-hmm. He's, he's a roaring lion, seeking to whom he may devour. 
Man's days are few and full of trouble. Give us one. Your thought. Jesus Christ. Um, the, the account of, in Scripture when the disciples tried to cast out the demon from the man and and the, the spirits mm -hmm. of Satan came, a, actually accosted him mm -hmm. and, and and went against him mm -hmm. and they were really defeated. I mean, really bad. Mm -hmm. and, and and it was said that. This thing only comes out by uh, prayer and and fasting. And fasting. Mm -hmm. it, it's a serious thing that mm -hmm. we're in. We're in a war, yes, and, and and we have to depend upon the Lord. L Lord, you give the victory. Right. It's not me. It's yeah. the Lord. And so they they had this up as why can we do this? And that was the answer. This kind of is going to come to prayer and fasting. So they they were they they were they were they were stopped for a while mm -hmm. from doing something. So. Randy. Oh, oh Sorry. I was I was fast, but uh, <laughs> but I've heard preachings from big big contemporary churches. Dan, yes. the other day mm -hmm. I was online listening to one, mm -hmm. and they do not teach the blood. They do not teach repentance, and they don't teach that the old nature, the old man, has has died. Right. Therefore, the distinction mm -hmm. between the old man and the new man is 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 is, is never made. Mm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the preaching is like fueling up a bunch of people who are in the flesh. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the terminology is confused. They're saying, you are a conqueror, you are this, you are that. But that's because the truth isn't really taught mm -hmm. in those churches. And everything else is hype. Right. Uh, but they're millionaires. Mm -hmm. they're <laughs> right, that's right. And they are, the, sadly, say. Well, we'll have to continue this discussion next week. You know, uh, come back with verse 10. and we'll probably do a little bit of reviewing of this. But it's, uh, we have to understand that these gifts here are temporary sign gifts for just the this 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 time period of the first century church. Once the canon of scripture was closed, in the specific sign gifts were no longer needed. So let's uh, let's close with prayer. Our Father, we want to thank thee this afternoon for thy word. And we do ask that we give us a clear understanding of it, to rightly divide it. And we do think of Mrs. Warren at the, at the nursing home, help her to be comforted. And we do ask that we get her, cause her to be better and give her the alertness she needs. Father, we ask that the medical community, the technicians and nurses and doctors would give her just the minimum amount of medicine that she needs. i uh, sure she would not be getting too much medicine, but just the right amount that's only needed for her uh, health condition. Please give a pastor and Mrs. Wade safety as they return this evening. Yes. Uh, give them a good meeting uh, at the evening service tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you.